Another big part of branding is changing the way things look um, and the things, the, what things say. And how do you do that? Of course, you know, we talked about this before when uh, just looking at how to customize your own ROMs. For instance, if you're building Lineage or AOKP, and I do have some videos on how you can just change a particular app to do what you want. And so, for instance, in this case, uh, I want to take a look at, uh, in Lineage OS, we have the Settings uh, app, right, where you choose your settings and everything. And this will probably be one that if you're making your very own custom ROM that you're going to need on your own. So I took the time to go ahead and to uh, um, fork it already, and we're going to um, open that up or clone that to our uh, device here. Or not our device to our computer. Let's see. Android. Oh, um, also though I should rename it. Android packages app settings. No, I guess I don't need to rename it. That's fine. So let me see. Android packages app setting, and we're going to put it into our. Git playground here. We'll say OK, let's clone it. Might take it a minute here to clone all of that. And while that's uh, in progress, let's take a look at what things we could change in the app settings. So, for instance, here we're in useless ROM packages app settings, and this is the orig original one um, while we're downloading the other one to start working on. Um, but in here we see several. Uh, different files and folders. Of course it all starts with the Android make. It's going to make the package name of setting and uh, this is what it's going to do to build that. Um, notice there are uh, framework opt setup wizard common and um, base package settings library common. Uh, so for instance this this may specify some common things that are common to all apps that it may need. So just something to be aware of. You might need to download that and make that part of your ROM as well. And then you have this uh, manifest, right, that where the permissions are. And so depending what you want to change or what you want to do, you want, might need to add more permissions or even take permissions away from your settings app that you're not using anymore. So it's uh, it's important to uh, be aware of that and look at this. If you're not familiar with uh, how apps work and how they're built, this could be a little bit tough. Um, but uh, but there's a lot of neat things that you can uh, do in here as far as permissions. Let's uh, let's look at one real quick just so you get a good idea. So right here uses permission Android name Android Permission Manage USB. So this obviously allows it to work with USB drives if you plug them in to your phone using like an OTG cable or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, here we have a call, so it can make phone calls. It can use the Bluetooth. It can turn the Bluetooth on and off. And it can, um, you know, hook you to different Bluetooth devices and establish connections and allow you to share your internet over the Bluetooth, that sort of thing. So all of these permissions are specific uh, for different uh, things that you want to do. Um, but particularly what I want to look at is you have assets and res and source and test. Tests you don't usually have to work with, that's for testing it out. Uh, the two big things that you want to work with is source and res. Uh, so res has tons and tons and tons of things in it. And you're like, wow, this is a lot of stuff. How am I going to know what I need to change? Well, that's why we're here. Uh, everything from this values on down, all these values, those are different language values of um, the strings that are used, the words that are used in the... Uh, in the uh, translations for the settings. So for instance, uh, string dialog yes button. The string named yes is yes. Now you could say yes, you could change yes to actually read okay. You know, like okay, like that. Um, 
and that would be able to uh, it would show up as okay and then you could change no to be not okay if you want it uh, that might seem a little bit strange here but just want to show you like this is what it's actually going to read, and this is what it was supposed to be for. Um, this allows developers to translate things into tons of different languages because uh, these uh, guys here with the Arabic, we can open that up, and you see that, okay, when they say yes, it needs to say this because apparently that's Arabic for yes. And when they say no, it should say this for no. So it is actually kind of difficult because if you go and change some of these strings, it's not going to necessarily change it for all of them. For instance, this is just the default that we have here. We're actually not going to save that because we don't need it. But uh, that's the default is the one that's just called values. For instance, for English, uh, you know, there's there's several different ones for the uh, English language here. Uh, English, right here. English, 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 English. So, uh, you know, you know, apparently the British English right here, I think, is what GB stands for, Great Great Britain. But uh, so, you know, different, um, you are now a number of steps away from being a developer, uh, you know, as it goes through and they translate all of these things. So it's a little bit tedious if you're going to be changing them for yourself. Oops, I did not want to change, close that. Uh, we'll jump back into res here. But that's how you would change the words of things. You would go through the values, find the value that you're looking for, and change the value that applied to it. And you'd have to change it for each language, or it's not going to show up for those languages um, that, that are in here. Now, the rest of these folders, you have the MIPMAP folders are the icon. So you want to change the icon. You want it to be something else. You can just change that icon right there. Uh, but that's only for the HDPI. Notice you have to change it for MDPI, XHDPI, excuse me, and XXHDPI, and triple X, and so forth. So if you want to change the icon, you have to actually change it, uh, in this case, five times uh, just to get that icon changed. Um, raw here, this is some. Uh, Og, this is be a song file right here. Uh, you could change that. Um, and then you have these layouts. Layouts determine the order, the way things are placed. So for instance, if we look at uh, apps preference settings, let's look at one that would be kind of, okay, Bluetooth device picker. So this would be when you're picking your Bluetooth device, it's going to wrap the content around that and it's going to load this device picker fragment. And so then you have to find the device picker fragment that applies to it. Uh, so sometimes these are nested upon nested upon nested. But this would be where you would change the order of things and how they, how they look. Um, if you're not familiar with app development, this would be very, very difficult for you to do. But something that would be simple to do would be changing the um, settings icon uh, to something that's appropriate for you. Changing the string that says lineage OS in this case to say something like useless ROM. And then uh, changing, um, for instance, uh, some of these choices of colors. Uh, what colors things are going to be. Let's uh, open one of those. And it just gives you the color number right here. Um, I do have some videos on uh, changing app colors that might be useful to you if you're interested in that. And then finally, uh, the other thing that you can change is the uh, drawables. So in the drawables, you have things like, um, you know, the different icons uh, or buttons or pieces that are used and put together to make, you know, the pictures. Like, oh, okay, it's saying you're card there and um, 
you know you need to insert your SIM card or eject your SIM card maybe that's what that's for or it's done um, you know and here's your Bluetooth config color here and oh there's the phone emergency uh, PNG color is this green uh, notice though that okay so here's your Wi-Fi lock signal four three two one zero you could change this to be completely different like maybe you like uh, a style where it's a dot with a line with a line with a line instead of being these bars that are curved you know so you can definitely change everything in here to meet your specific desires or needs as far as what you want your ROM to look like uh, but uh, do keep in mind when you change it here for HDPI you need to change it for LDPI all this, all this, all this, all this, all this, all this. So, and some of these have some different ones in here as well. Um, so it's just something to keep in mind. When you change one of them, you're probably going to have to change uh, all of them uh, to meet what you want to do. Um, so by uh, forking that settings, then we can make our own settings so we forked it from lineage we're going to be able to make our own and we can oh it's still downloading uh, once that finishes downloading then we can uh, make sure that we change our manifest actually we can change it now while we're waiting let's see we'll just close this and we'll open it again and we'll get where we're going so let's go home to our playground, to our default settings. So packages app settings is from Lineage OS, and we want to change that uh, to be actually what ours is, which in our case is going to be Alaska Linux user. And we can just copy that. But you know, if you're not sure, you can always copy the whole thing to make sure that you get the right, the right one, and then change it here. And we can save that. So once again it'll look for the default, whatever the default is, it'll look for CM 13.0 is the default that it looks for and ours we do have a CM 13.0 so uh, it'll pull up the right one for us already. So now we just need to uh, synchronize all that and get that uh, downloaded and then we have uh, more stuff to play with and more stuff to learn from.